Top Test Prep. Hey guys, my name is Will. I'm a tutor for Top Test Prep, and today we're going to be talking about the medical school admissions process. And specifically in the video, we're going to be talking about the MCAS application. Well, what exactly is the MCAS? It's very similar to the common application, if you guys remember when you guys were applying to colleges, where the MCAS application compiles our information and sends it out to United States medical schools that you want to be applying for. The MCAS covers every single United States medical school with one exception, the Texas schools. So if you're really interested in applying to some of the state schools in the University of Texas medical system, you'll have to fill out a separate but very similar application. The idea that I really want you guys to have is to apply as early as possible. And what that means is, well, just get your application out by at least July. Uh, the advantages are huge, one being that the MCAS verifies your grades, and that takes a lot of time. Sometimes if you are applying late, a lot of other people are pushed back, and it's like a bottleneck effect, where it'll take up to a month to be verified, and that takes a lot of time away from medical school's seeing your application, and you filling out the secondary application, and you getting to the interview session. So uh, the verification process is where they verify your uh, grades from your uh, college years through the official transcripts and the grades that you submit in the MCAS application itself. The MCAS opens on May 1st. That means you can start filling it out on May 1st and the, your first day that you can actually submit it uh, for at least for 2014 is June 3rd. And usually it's around uh, early June if you're applying other cycles. So you have a month to make sure you don't have any errors in your application and your extracurriculars when you're writing those two or three sentences describing what you did, and also uh, your personal statement. So again, apply as early as you can. And this is another reason too. The first acceptance that medical schools uh, can give out is on October 15th. So think about it. If you're applying in September and you have to wait another month to get verified, that's already October. And then you have to write your secondary applications for all these medical schools and that takes you to the middle of October. Well, some people have already been accepted and you're already late in the game and some spots for interviews have been taken and even though they're not, sometimes they're not rolling for acceptances, well, they're rolling for interviews and you're not going to get those interview spots unless you apply early. So what if you haven't taken your MCAT yet or your MCAT score is not going to come in until July? Well, let's say you're taking your MCAT in the middle of June where well, you can still submit it without an MCAT score or with a really old one. So say that you're taking it in June and you're going to get your scores back in July. Well, once you get your scores back, that gets automatically fitted into your MCAT application and medical schools can see it whenever they want to. If you guys want to learn more about this process, please visit us at toptestprep.com.